obviously credit Michigan uh, for the game they played. Uh, we just weren't good enough today. Coaches, players, uh, I mean, it all starts again, as I always say, with me. Uh, disappointed for our 25 seniors that we honored uh, today that we weren't able to, to play to play better for those guys. Mm -hmm. But as I told our team, we can't hang our heads. Um, we got to flush this one pretty quickly because we still have a lot to play for uh, next week going up to New Jersey. Uh, but opportunity to win six, which we hadn't done since 2016. So um, I expect this team will continue to show up like they have. Mm -hmm. And as I said, we got to flush this one quickly uh, and find a way to go up to Rutgers and get a win. And with that, I'll open up the questions. <laughs>
Uh, particularly after a lot of your top 10 matchups, you've talked about execution. You know, how do you kind of hope, obviously you don't have another top 10 team on schedule, but how do you hope to kind of address that uh, in those bigger games, being not better than execution? It starts with coaching, and then it starts with players doing their job. Um, pretty simple, you know, make sure we have great plans in place when we play good teams. Uh, that gives us a chance to have success and then you know, for us, our players and their focus, understanding that they've got jobs to do as well. And, you know, it's our job to get our players to play their best and uh, to execute. So we'll continue to coach up, coach them up. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. We'll have a third one, Carolyn, Carlos, Carrier, Ruben.